again, here is all gowns and today we do some live training session uh, using the uh, CZP07 BB replica okay and we will be measuring times using this um, using the software timer uh, in the previous video, I have described the basic functions of this application, how it works and what it's capable of, uh, what is their pros and cons. So, uh, stop talking, start shooting. Uh, at the beginning, we do some single shots to get some warm, the muscles, and we'll see the results. Okay, so stand by. I was too late. Uh, 174. And sometimes when you press the start, you cannot uh, feel the vibration. I think it's a good idea. Okay, so I switched the phone to the vibration mode because if you press the start and you are in standby mode, uh, you feel the vibration so you are uh, sure that it started actually. And there is a random time between one and five seconds when the signals go off. So when I press start, I don't know exactly when the signal goes, okay? Uh, as in the hardware timers. So uh, again, let's try again. Same things, stand by. One forty three. It's better, but still not my, my best. Uh, okay, let's try again. Stand by. 136, so a tenth of a second is better. It was really fast this time. Okay, one more. One fifty nine. I have a little problem with. Uh, last final stage of the shot uh, when using the muzzle okay let's try the last one single and we do some series so check how it flies in series okay so single shot stand by one thirty seven and we are empty Okay, so stop the timer and I need to reload. Uh, it's weird uh -huh. because I still have BBs, but the gun, the gun remains in a bag. It's very Unusual situation. I will do some shot. Okay, works fine. Um, maybe I do some movement and stop the uh, the lock or, or slide or something. Uh, I will check it later on the video. Okay, so well, let's continue and try again uh, because uh, I have still about ten rounds. Okay, so stand by. That was pretty fast. Actually, I didn't aim properly, but I got uh, one second, 102, which is uh, very close to my best. 
actually, uh, let's be honest, there wasn't a full aiming cycle in this shot. I was firing really fast. Um, I put the close range, 3-5 meters, definitely shot in the, uh, in the deadly, deadly range. Uh, deadly area. Okay, so um, stop this training. Okay, now we'll try and uh, do a, a series of shots. So uh, after the signal, I draw the weapon and do uh, let's see five fast shots, and we'll see how fly how fast is the series. So. Um, here okay so stand by five shots okay we get uh, five shots in two seconds 32 and uh, I am not uh, Sure that this scene good. Try to do some with the focus. Yes. Um, so the first shot was after one second twenty six. Next one uh, split was zero uh, thirty nine zero twenty five zero twenty two and the last fifth was zero uh, three. So the overall wizard is heal here. And two seconds thirty two. Okay, so stop because shaking makes some additional shots. Let's fix up the focus. Okay, so as you can see in a real training session in a house, in a garage, in your in your backyard, it's pretty. It's pretty okay. I think um, you know. To, you have to be patient <coughs> to set up the threshold in a proper way. Um, I can give you some some tips that I have found out. It's experimental, of course. Uh, if we are talking about when, uh, what's the distance between the shooter and the phone? So. <coughs> I have found some uh, tips and I can share you uh, with, me, uh, with you this time. So first tip is uh, if you are a, a right-handed shooter and you have a holster on the right side of your body, you have to put the smartphone on the left. And this is important because with a low threshold, like 205, you can see in my previous video when the um, the, the phone stands here I get a lot of false measurement false shots doing uh, just drawing the weapon on, on, hold, on holding back in a holster so the first tip uh, put the phone on the left and the distance should be at least uh, at your hand or maybe even more because uh, the sound from the shotgun BB is quite loud uh, it's more, much louder than getting gun from the holster but if you are very close the microphone cannot uh, uh, recognize uh, the strength of the signal so put a little bit back in my case this is uh, one meter maybe uh, set the threshold uh, do the calibration, then go about 10 points less and just playing, just playing and do some experiments. You can give me a comment, what do you think, uh, what is your personal experience about using this. Uh, of course, I will buy a hardware timer someday, but now I wish to spend morning or guns or ammunition in training sessions with professional uh, instructors uh, and this is basically a toy this is a smartphone applications okay it's, it's free 
uh, it's free of charge so it can gives you some performance tips you have a bad day it is seen on on the if you have a bad day and bad result uh, it is it is seen without thinking yes and um, at the first moment you have better or worse result depending on the current condition okay so stop my talking um, it was all guns I hope you enjoyed this video if you like more these videos like this with some training sessions maybe uh, you are interested in some tips about the dynamic shooting uh, I have completed some courses so I can share some some knowledge with you I'm not a professional I'm not the perfect but I have made a significant progress from the from the beginning uh, it is over one year when I'm training with some skills with professionals so uh, I can give you some tips it's not a professional course of course but maybe it would be useful for you if you want to shoot fast if you want to shoot accurate and of course use this practice skills someday in a survival in a I don't know uh, situation that you can maybe facing in the future so thanks again for watching it was all guns see you later